Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 or 20, who knows, programming and development channels. That's the same thing. No, programming and design channels that I really like. Okay, let's get going. This list is definitely not from best to worst. Okay, so it's in no particular order. The first one is DevEd, developed by Ed.com. Check out his courses, they're amazing. The content on this channel is fantastic. And wow, look at that, you're already subscribed. You're not, you're not subscribed? Damn it. No, but for real, how can we start this list off without talking about the best and the biggest? Right here, Mr. Telmo Senpayo himself. Take a look, Telmo Senpayo. He's a super nice guy, actually. <laughs> I, when I first started my channel, he was the first person that actually came in contact with me and was like, hey, you wanna start, you wanna do a little interview with me, huh? Uh, for React, I would say uh, Wes Boss is really good. Scott Dolinsky, uh, the, the people who run Syntax. Um, hmm, who else? Yeah, I would say those guys are really good. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. So pe people now they can they can see more more uh, resources, more channels, more uh, courses that they can check. And I was like, whoa, this guy has seven thousand subscribers, and I have two hundred or three hundred or whatever I had at the time, and he still was interested in talking to me. And I appreciate that because a lot of people, you know, only want to talk to you once you're like this big of a follower or whatever. So I really appreciate the the fact that. He had 7,000 and I was really, really small, like 200 subs, and he wanted to do a full interview on YouTube, which you can check out here. And now I'm at 400,000 and he's at like 10,000 subs. I'm sorry. Go subscribe to him. Make him grow. He's awesome. Next up on the list is going to be Traversy Media. I mean, this is the guy that we all learned from. Uh, the, the guy that says he's a human boy but we know he's an alien from outer space. He made the pyramids. Traversy Media made the pyramids. It's confirmed. Write it down in the comments. Send it on all of his videos. You made the pyramids. Thank you very much. Because now you have something to visit. If you've never been to visit the pyramids. <laughs> Probably the reason why most of us are like content creators that started their YouTube channel was because of Traversy Media. Personally, he was definitely an impulse, but that, that's actually not the main reason why I started the, the channel. I started my channel mainly because I was fed up with a few tutorials on YouTube and I didn't find the things that I wanted to find, so I made them myself. Uh, but he definitely influenced everybody and the amount of tutorials he made is absolutely crazy. So no wonder he's kind of considering on stepping back a bit and not continuing this like he did i mean like how many videos five four thousand about the wide range of technologies i'm surprised that he managed to do it so we should all thank him and even if he leaves or there's not going to be any traversy media channel well at least he gave up there's still this content that he provided reminded me about new boston as well because he was kind of the reason why i got into programming of like a, a long time ago with C++ or whatever tutorials he made. And you know, a lot of people talked about him and they were like, yeah, he gives like bad examples and whatever. And, but hey, people don't take into consideration that a lot of people start to programming because of the new Boston. And I think that matters much more than his variable names that he made, you know? <laughs> so we should appreciate it. We should also appreciate Traversy Media for all of his contributions, okay? Let's move on. What am I talking about? Probably one of the most solid places to learn technologies about development in general has to be NetNinja. This guy is crazy good. And the projects that he makes are fantastic. And he breaks them up in multiple parts, which is really nice because you can't get these mini courses. Um, why? <laughs> I'm still surprised. All the content that he makes is for free. That's how good it is. Sometimes I watch some courses on Udemy. They're, they're not as good as the NetNinja's YouTube channel. I saw a few courses that copied the NetNinja's YouTube videos. Like literally content in the course was from NetNinja. He's good. Subscribe to him. He's gonna give you an English lesson as well. He's from the UK. Next up is DevTips. 
Wow, DevDips. Haven't watched him in a long time. Let's search up the internets. YouTube. Dev Tips. Is he still alive? I don't think he's still alive. Oh, okay, so the two other guys came. They're good. Next up in my subscription, there is Wes Boss. He's from Canada and I plan to move to Canada. So he's amazing and he's even more amazing if he can kind of figure out a way. Wes Boss, if you're watching this, smuggle me, put me in a bag, come visit Romania, just hide me under something in your bag, take out your MacBook Pro and bring me to Canada. I will be your wife. He's good. Uh, he doesn't really post YouTube videos anymore though, like one a month or something like that, but they're very interesting. He had that popular series on 30 days of JavaScript, which I think everybody knows by far. He's more focused on his podcasts and courses probably. Uh, and they're very, very, very good. His courses are fantastic. They're a bit more upper pace, so they're kind of fast going. Uh, so I, I think you still need a bit of practice on yourself before you get into his courses, but they're fantastic. And his po podcast syntax is fantastic as well. I listen to it whenever I go to sleep and I fall asleep in five seconds. Here's one that you probably do not know. I Hate Tomatoes, fantastic channel if you wanna take a look at animation type stuff. I originally saw him uh, because I was searching, you know how you have these wonderful websites on awards and whatever with crazy animations with things sliding in and out like this. He made those things. He had GSAP tutorials that kind of combined things together with scroll magic and all of these fantastic different libraries to create fancy animations. So if you want those kind of stuff, besides my channel, you can go check out I Hate Tomatoes. Next up, probably one of my favorite up and coming channels has to be Code Stacker. I mean, not up and coming, he has 90k subscribers, but like the type of content that he makes, I feel like is interesting and gets people interested in programming or development, even though they might have no interest in it. And I think that's fantastic. I think he's going to push the web development market forwards as in terms of quality and expectations from people. Uh, he had, he did recently a bunch of React tutorials. I mean, I really recently, a few months ago, but I haven't watched those. <laughs> but I, I saw the other ones that he made. I usually click on them and watch them. And they're very nice and very high quality. Uh, it's fantastic because I see like stuff like uh, random project that he makes, like he made the tic-tac-toe or whatever with the artificial intelligence video that he made. It also talks about like the last one was really good about going from zero to 70k subscribers in a year. Fantastic videos. So go check him out, codestacker.com. Is that his website? No? Okay. Next up on the list, the guy that started at the same time as I started my YouTube channel which is Web Dev Simplified. I'm not sure what he does. Let's take a look on his YouTube channel. Web Dev Simplified, go subscribe to him, amazing. There's another YouTube channel that I watched years ago that I don't see a lot of people talking about, which is M.M. Tuts. Um, he's Elon Musk's brother. Elon Musk ended up making Tesla, he ended up making M.M. Tuts, but it's okay. It's a great channel. He recently started making other types of videos like gaming and more kind of everything. Uh, but he, I remember like back a few years ago, I kind of wanted to pick up PHP and he had really great tutorials on it. He does mostly HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but then again, he kind of stopped making those. He does, he has recently done some gaming stuff and other stuff, but like the guy, he's a very cool guy. So go subscribe. Next up, we have Tech Lead, fantastic channel. If you want to watch about learning tech and if you want to, if you're curious about how you can become a millionaire, and if you need some relationship advice. Next up on the list is a guy that's absolutely genius. His name is Derek Benes. Benes? Benes? Derek Benes? Never really watched any videos from him. I think I, <laughs> I think I watched one or two of his 
like large two hour videos about one programming language and that's it. Let's see what is he up to. Learn algebra. He does some weird things recently. I think he did a video about learning guitar and then JavaScript and then he has a stream about baby chicken. Fantastic content right here. Next on the list is Programming with Mosh, our favorite bald guy on the internet. I mean, this guy is crazy fantastic. He does, he mostly does, <laughs> he mostly promotes his courses on his YouTube channel, but deservedly so because he puts out one or two hours of free content and they're so high quality that you want to quit your channel. They're so good. Not only the content is fantastic, and this guy is probably the, one of the best devs that I learned from like all around the information that I know, it's probably from this guy. Besides that, he also has crazy nice animations and after effects and stuff to illustrate graphically what's going on. We can take a look. Let's take a look. Programming with Mosh. Take a look. What do you do my unbiased Google friends? So we have cool animations right there. I appreciate that. Respect. Next on the list, our favorite guitar hero person. Gary Simon from designcoursecoursetra.com, skillshare.com. <laughs> He's great. If you're interested, like he, thought, he, he did some programming things before, but if you're interested in learning how to create awesome designs, or if you feel like your designs are lacking or they look like trash, well, he's the guy for you. He makes videos almost every day. I'm not sure how he does it. We have another, another alien on our hands, probably build not the pyramids, but something else bridge fantastic go check him out next on the list is academine if they have academy in their mind so they're really smart if you want to learn german <laughs> visit the channel no but for real uh, maximilian schumacher is a fantastic channel here and with the other guy that i don't know the name of he's kind of like behind the scenes Fantastic channel, bunch of web development related stuff. He, his courses are also fantastic. He puts out like 30 hour courses every one or two months. How are you guys doing it? This is crazy. So I respect this channel, fantastic. And let's move on. Next on the list, another great one here is Chris Hawks. He doesn't do tutorials, he doesn't sit down. He just goes in nature. He lives life unlike us. He comes out of the bush with a bear and he just Tells you how it is. Hey, React is not the best. Hey, hey, don't forget about me, Captain Purple, your streaming hero. Let's make coding fun again. Next up, I do want to shout out some Udemy boys like Cold Steel, Fantastic, and Steven Ryder. Man, these guys are. Why are they charging only $10 for their course? They're worth so much more. Why you do this? Why you do this? Next up on the list, we have Programming with Eric, fantastic channel if you want to learn Vue.js. And I followed him a lot of times when I was learning Vue, but since I'm not, I don't watch him that much anymore. But it's a fantastic, fantastic little channel here. I wish he would diversify more because I think his channel would grow so much more. Mostly it's Vue, mostly. So expand the channel, make it grow, so you make tons of money and then I'll give you a kiss. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my list. Now, there's a ton more out there, I know, but I'm not actually actively searching for these channels anymore just because I'm working on my React course and after that, I kind of started following a bunch of gaming dev channels out there. So that's kind of what I'm interested in right now. So again, I'm not really following uh, web related stuff that closely anymore. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And again, I'll see you next time when the virus is done and we'll go to the pyramids and visit the master himself. All right, bye-bye.